Howdy, 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 my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Gemini, for September and see what's going to be happening. When it comes to consuming your tarot readings on YouTube, Gemini, or your horoscope, check out more than just your one zodiac sign. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, Gemini, to get the full understanding of what's happening in your life. In the top right-hand corner of your screen, I have a monthly pick-a-card tarot reading for September, uh, Gemini, that you can check out. But let's begin your tarot reading here today with the world card apparently here gemini all right this is big this is major all right i feel like there's gonna be like the first thing that came to mind with this really actually was like announcement like i saw announcement in all caps i might even make that the title um gemini it's like an announcement an important message is coming to you an important like because i'm being shown like a mail courier that's just something that comes to mind as well so you might be receiving an important message or an important announcement you might be receiving something that's of importance news and of important news uh gemini even the nine of cups in the back of the deck you see the excitement in this person here so it's clearly good news here darling right so i don't want you to be overthinking at it you know calm down the anxiety unclench your jaw darling really Relax your shoulders. It's okay. I feel like it's really positive here. Nine of Cups energy lets me know that this is like really positive news. All right. It's the sense of where it's like you've made it. You're progressing. Like I get the sense of sigh of relief from whatever this is. It's like now you can breathe. It's like you're hitting like a waypoint. Or maybe you've been waiting for this. This is something that you've been waiting for expectantly. Three of Wands as well. Yeah, this is what's been you've been waiting for, Gemini. Uh, whatever this big announcement or this major news is, you've been waiting for this. And then I just see you in this place of just clearly of elation here, Gemini, right? When you look at this card, it's someone of, the, of clear elation of... It's like this sense of like, now it's time. It's like you're about to begin something now that you receive this news, Gemini. Now the ball is going to be a, a start rolling for you. It might even be like a spiritual sign for you where it's like maybe you felt divinely guided, guided uh, Gemini to, you know, write your story. You know, maybe something with the arts or something. It's this sense of where I feel like it's something that validates you and your spiritual purpose, your spiritual beliefs. All right. It gives you hope for humanity, gives you faith in spirituality and a spiritual practice again gemini Ooh, this is big this is something that you obviously needed uh darling it's like you needed this experience to happen because it's like maybe you're losing faith or you're on your last thread right because i'm being shown like the camel and the feather breaking its back but yeah hangs man energy here afterwards in the back of the deck so this is something where it's like now it's time and now it's begun hanged man is that sense of having that 180 complete you know the rug being swept from under you having the complete change in perspective and it's now time to take action you've been waiting for this moment and things are finally starting to fall into place gemini is how i see this for you it's i do get like this sense because i'm even hearing like techno music because it's like techno ramp up music so it's like it's about to be like it's something that you would hear in like the movies or like in tron i don't know why tron's coming up where it's just like when it's about to be like the battle scene or just something exciting the music starts getting you amped up for it as well and like fast and furious or something i do feel like it's being showing that sense of just like fast momentum afterwards it's like you hear like this positive news gemini and then that's where it's just like all right it's game time and then it's just like things start happening in quick succession for it because you already made the plans for this like you already have the blueprints you already have everything spelled out for once one thing one specific thing happens or one specific announcement or message is made to you and then it's just like everything else falls into place yeah page of wands coming in afterwards gemini so really enhancing this message here of where it's like new energy coming in a new opportunity you will even take note with the nine of cups with this page of wands uh gemini it's like both of them are looking up in the air celebrating happy like they're really excited for this journey all right really really reinforcing the sense uh gemini for those that are just anxious about like having some type of big news coming in um still is really positive like you can you even see in the colors of this it's like all this f yellow fiery passionate energy here it's like you have this newfound sense of life you're feeling alive again uh gemini is what i get with this interesting let's do a bird shuffle here to split this up Ooh, yeah i'm getting some really empowered empowered if i can't even get my words right now powerful intuitive 
messages here, Gemini. So I'm going to be trying to balance it out with tarot because there's some powerful visions of being shown. Six of swords here. All right. <clears throat> it's like you're leaving your old way of life. <laughs> I even get like this impression, Gemini, of where it's like someone's like giving like the, the bird, the middle finger to like your job. And then like you are just like as you are walking out. It's like through like whatever major news or whatever happens, Gemini, it allows for you to start this transition where you're moving from one place to another, right? You might be traveling in the coming days. There's like something from whatever this news is, it causes some type of transition in your life of what that you're moving on, you're walking away from, Gemini. Even still, we have this magician card. I do see independence happening for you as well i see you in this place where it's like you're disconnecting six of swords energy you're disconnecting because it's like all right it's game time it's time for me to really start creating here right you have like a whole plan for yourself you just needed to hear like some positive news or a positive message and then that allows for you to start making the transition of more independence i get like this impression for some of you gemini's as well that you wanted to get out of a situation I don't know if you don't like your living situation. Maybe someone's making it unbearable or your job situation. Maybe someone in your job is making it unbearable here because even the strength cards in here for you, uh, Ge uh, yeah, Gemini, I was wanted to call you Leo. It is Leo energy, Gemini. The strength energy is here. So this lets me know that this was even in your pre-shuffle. So it's like you have been going through a really trying time, Gemini. Like it's like desperate times calls for desperate measures. And then yeah, Eight of Swords energy. This is where that self-reflection was coming in, right? Where you were not really seeing yourself for who you truly are. I feel like your environment or something in your environment was making you stir crazy, where it's just like, I gotta get out of here. And that's why I feel like you were saying, it's like, I gotta get out of here. This is like, I'm losing myself while doing this. It's like you go to that nine to five job and it's like each day, it's like you're losing more and more of yourself. Like you just feel yourself dying slowly from that. Very dramatic, I suppose, but that's how I see this as. And it's just like, you just needed this one break. Even afterwards, you have this hermit energy stepping in for you, uh, Gemini. So it's like this time of deep reflection, this time of where you're able to just be by yourself is how I see this as being by yourself. Like, I feel like that's what you want. I know many people, Gemini, they're just like, oh, I want love. I want relationships, da, da, da. It's like for you, I don't feel like that's what you want. I feel like you want some peace and solitude. I feel like for you, like if you had the option to press a button, Gemini, and you could completely change your life, completely move to a whole new city, whole new town, whole new life, whole new body, whole new name, no and you don't know anybody start cl completely clean slate right i feel like that's what you would do and you have that option here gemini you have that option remind reminding you with this world card as your first card closing out the chapter to begin a new fool's journey right beginning at square zero again point zero <clears throat> <sighs> Galactic Mushroom, 24, number six in numerology. That might be your number this week, Gemini. The Divine Matrix coming in here. Now, why is this coming in? Why is this, how does this play off in your, your reading here, Gemini? The Queen of Wands with the Divine Matrix. All right, this is interesting here. So for you, uh, Gemini, you, I feel like you are getting out of like a matrix. That's why you, and it, it makes me laugh because I think I even said earlier, maybe I kept it in my head, Gemini, where it's just like, oh, like I'm being shown like Tron, you know, if you know the storyline of Tron, I'm not going to spoil it. And you know, it's a really old movie uh, if you want to watch it and you haven't Gemini, but I get like this sense of where it's like, you're able to like get out of like the matrix there you're able to break free from it break free from the chains the restrictions breaking out of the matrix the matrix of being like working that cubicle nine to five job you're improving in your life here eight of pentacles big accomplishments are happening for you whatever this news is for you gemini it's like news that then allows for you to spread your wings and fly very corny message i know but i feel like that's very your story currently where it's like you feel like you can spread your wings and finally fly break free of the toxic environments toxic people toxic situations toxic job apparently toxic's my favorite word for y'all's reading gemini <laughs> 
And then you have the crown games, right use of power here. Very interesting. I want to take note that you have two different cards. I don't know why I'm noticing this, but it's like having like faces in like these circular things. I don't know why that's like calling out to me the most. Kind of want like, I might suggest it for you, uh, Gemini. Like I'm not going to do it right now, but you might want to pause this just to like take it in and meditate on this because I feel like there's something spiritual associated with that. I want to take a moment just to like do it, but it might take up too much time here. Right use of power, the divine matrix. Initially, I might see this as like having like a spirit guide, a partner in crime, like someone's like someone or something standing by you at this time. It has been standing by you for a long time, uh, Gemini. I feel as if you will, you will continuously find yourself noticing spirit your spiritual team in weird ways whether it's through music whether it's through people just saying something weird or what have you like i feel like every step of the way spirit's with you that's what i in, right off the bat i intuitively get with that gemini um just from the imagery but again i want to insist on you just meditating on those two the artworks of those two cards because that's powerful stuff there you have the penguin card coming in for you gemini all right the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. If you don't believe it for me saying it earlier, Gemini, now you get the card to say it. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing is passing. As I noted for you earlier with that strength card, it's like your pain, your struggles have not been ignored, uh, Gemini. They're not being overlooked. Like they acknowledge what it is that you've been going through and that it's time for you to finally catch a break. Spider energy here, very fitting for you. Very, very fitting. Trust the creative spark that you're feeling, Gemini, and uh, express it through writing stories that inspire and, and enlighten. Again, it's like break, like you and have like the spider webs, like the sense of breaking free from a matrix to create your own space, to create your own matrix. <clears throat> if you don't have a spiritual practice yet when it comes to manifesting or creating or if you just align with law of attraction or assumption i want to suggest to you to either find a practice or find a way to go deeper with it uh gemini all right <clears throat> storyteller interesting how you have we just pulled this card for you now as well gemini the storyteller with this with the spider card something written word maybe you need to start writing down your ideas writing down your words writing having a diary or something maybe you already just started doing that but it is interesting to me that you have two different cards here gemini expressing this sense of like putting something to paper or like stories or you know you know what i mean right it's like hmm, it's interesting Let's see if there's any final thoughts for you, Gemini, before we close out your tarot reading here today. Overall, I'm really positive, optimistic about what's happening for you in your coming days. A very positive announcement. That's what I'll be looking for. It's like it's and it's through this announcement. It's through this news that you receive, Gemini, that then it starts everything. It's like it's the show going. The show begins. It's just getting started. All right, let's see what messages, what other messages Spirit has. Of course, I don't know if this caught on the shuffling process, Gemini, but the sun card is the card that fell out. All right, that's the best card in the tarot deck, if I didn't already say it. And also that shares a similarity with the sun energy, or with the sun energy, with the sun sharing the same similarities to the sun. The sun with the hanged man, you see like this change of 180, change of perspective, the sun's right behind them. So it's still following you. All right, very positive news. All right, <clears throat> things are really about to be picking up in a positive way for you. And it's still like, again, this enforcement of positive news. It's good news. Two of wands, justice energy as well here. So final thoughts that I have for you. All right, contracts. All right, that's the first thing that comes to mind is contracts, long-term plans, long-term goals are being made here. <clears throat> Justice, energy, the, whatever it is that you've been putting out in the world, whether it's good karma or bad karma, darling, right? I can't say for you personally, you know yourself here. It's like whatever that you've been putting onto your side of the scales with that Justice energy, that Libra energy, Gemini, right? Uh, it's finally starting to balance out. So all I can tell you is what have you been putting on in on your side, all right? This scales responding to that directly now and you start noticing things balancing out so as long as you've been putting in some really beautiful things gemini that's why i'm telling you get a spiritual practice do something like that because that's that's how it becomes major for you all right darling so 
So I love you so much, Gemini. I'm going to leave you with that, and I'll connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.